Next under the hammer at Bygone Bygones, we've got this fabulous sort of coffee table or DVD TV stand table. It's, um, it, it kind of matches another piece of furniture that we've got that's got IKEA written on it, but this hasn't got IKEA written anywhere on it. But it's of that kind of style. It's contemporary, it's modern, it's a nice piece of furniture. It's a good, chunky, solid size, and uh, it's got a whole load of different storage spaces to it. So on the top, you've got a large surface area, which, if you use it as a coffee table, would be really handy. It could equally it could house a TV very comfortably. And then underneath, on one side, you've got a shelf unit uh, with, a, with a divider in the middle. So there's a divider at the middle of the actual tabletop. And then you've got two drawers. And also, Phil, on that, on, that, uh, on that shelf, there is also a space so that if you did have wires coming underneath, uh, yeah, yeah. they could go underneath so that you can see the light coming through there. Uh, so you could put your TV DVD unit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unit there. yeah. And then we've got drawers underneath. Nice little... Uh, nice little Yeah. Effect. Vast effect. I'm not sure that they're actual vast. They might be. They might just be modern thin, but but they've got modern drawer runners and all the on all the like. There's a little bit of repair work being done on them. Looks like somebody's built it upside down, actually. Or maybe yeah. they were just made that way that you could do it either way. But a couple of good sized drawers. Really good sized drawers. No, I think you're right, Phil. I think there's one or two things about this that the person who's constructed it mm. hasn't quite got it right. I think that is one of them, that this is upside down, because this feels a bit loose, and it should slot into that. Mm. And I also wonder about this, whether that one should, in fact, be further back. Yeah, anyway. quite possibly. Anyway, <laughs> uh, is this still work? They're very functional. They're good drawers. Nice little detail to the side with this... Mm. Um, so it's say? flush... Yeah, so it's flush on the inside, and it's it's got a little bit of a... Just a little bit of a detail, a nice little bit of a routed detail on that edge. The legs have got a nice little bit of a taper on them. It's got a few little knocks and bumps and scuff. Yeah, it? it has, yeah, it's got scuffs and scratches and stuff. Now on the other side, you've got one big shelf and then four half shelves. Really good storage area. Mm. Really good use of a coffee table, really. And then on the back edge, you can see where it's probably been up against a wall. It's got a few more little bumps and scuffs. Yeah. A little bit to this corner. Yeah. And then yeah. there's one fairly major one which we should mention at the front. Yeah, but that one. More of, a, more of a chip. Yeah, that one looks like somebody's filled it in with one of those sort of work surface yeah. uh, wax crayons. Yeah. You can get them at B&Q or Tool Station or. So it doesn't, it's not very visible, but no, it is. You can there. disguise all of these things quite, quite easily and very cheaply. And it's got a nice wood effect to it. It's kind of like dark pine, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pine that's been stained. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good topic table. I mean, the great thing about it is its size and weight and, and usefulness. It's a piece of contemporary furniture. Bargain. Get a bid on before it's